Oh, oh, oh. oh I just saw you in my mirror. I'm down. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number six. Day number six on the Trans Euro Trail, heading through England, through Wales, all the way to the border to Scotland. And we're here this morning in the wild forests of England. We wild camped here last night just off this little trail. No cars are allowed down this little byway here behind us and that makes for a pretty peaceful night. And today we have a super exciting day ahead. Yeah, let me show you guys where we're heading today. So we are here right on the trail and today we're gonna to be continuing our way eastward towards the off-road paradise that is the Salisbury Plain. Yes, today we'll be passing from Hampshire into Wiltshire onto the Salisbury Plains and past the ancient monument of Stonehenge. It will be a super exciting day today. I can't wait to get started. It's already 8.15 and we still have to pack up everything. So better hit the road. Let's go. We are. <sighs> hey, don't hit me. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> First little hit in the morning. But we are off-road pros now. Okay, so we've got to go down here and then we're going to the left, okay? Ready to rock and roll? Yo! Let's do it. Woohoo! Down the hill. Okay. Yep, made it. <laughs> Beautiful, back on the trails. <laughs> That's the nice thing about camping right next to the trail. We just literally just turn off from where we camped and boom, we're on the most beautiful little lane. And that is a great way to start the morning. It is actually, it is. It's a good way as well to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are pretty low on water and pretty low on fuel. So these are the two things we will sort out now. Yeah, we had to decide last night if we wanted to drink water or save the water for a coffee this morning. <laughs> and of course we decided to save the water for a coffee. So that was nice and I really enjoyed it, but I am pretty thirsty. So yeah, it would be good to get some fuel for you and then Charlie, and some fuel for us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and look at the blue skies up above. Man, it's a lucky day today, seriously. That is the end of the wet and muddy part of our adventure and hopefully the start of our dry and smooth part. Ollie, we are in England. <laughs> well, if I can just have one dry day today to enjoy, then I'll be happy. Me too, me too. I'm getting a little bit better used to the trails, you know, because as you know now, I have just started um, riding bikes, so I have no experience at all. But it feels like every day I'm improving and this is just so cool. It's so much fun. So much fun. Fuel up. 146.9 per litre. Okay, unleaded 95. Yeah, the cool thing about the uh, TET GPX download is that it actually gives you the locations of all the nearest petrol stations on the way. So it's really useful actually because you've got points of interest, you've got petrol stations, places to eat. Honestly, they've thought of everything. 
These bikes have such a small fuel tank. Let me see, how much did I do? Four, Four and a half litres. It's not bad. 4.3 litres. And we do have these uh, auxiliary fuel cans. We filled them up at the very beginning, but now we're just kind of leaving them empty for now because it's just not remote enough to need them. <laughs> I mean, we can do about 100 miles on a tank. I mean, we haven't even reached 100 miles. No, I thought we would do a little bit more distance before we started the trail, but we literally can't even get like 70 miles done in a day. <laughs> I'll ask the guy if they have like a water tap where we can fill up everything as well. Hello. Do you have any uh, water tap that I can fill up some water? Blue, oh. blue, blue, blue this. Okay. Blue, blue storage over there. Yeah. Next to the telescope. Okay, cool. Yeah, outside. Yeah, thank you. Is it weird that I'm really excited to drink some water? <laughs> ah, that's brilliant. <laughs> Yummy. Well, we've got a small section here joining the A34, and even though it's only an A road, it feels like the autobahn compared to what we've been doing over the last few days. You forget how fast people are driving on regular roads. This is pretty much our top speed. 45, maybe 50 miles an hour on a good day. It's just fast enough to be able to take these A roads for a little bit. But anyway, it looks like we're coming off in a second. Is it a junction or what? Maybe we have to stop here at the parking. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I just saw it. It was like a tiny little byway. Oh my goodness. I think we're supposed to go down here. It's a bit of a dodgy exit, isn't it? Look at that, we just come off like a massive A road and we come down into this a muddy puddle again. <laughs> oh man. There we go. Goodbye, A road. Hello, rutted track. <laughs> Whew, nearly fell into the rut. Okay. You fell. I'm coming. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Oh, petrol's coming out of your tank. Let's get, let's get it up. Okay, you ready? Yeah, it looks like this petrol tank is leaking. When it's on its side, it leaks a little bit. What happened? You tried to put your foot down. I was on the rut, yeah, but the rut is on a slope. So I slid in. I wanted to put my foot down, but there's no room to put the foot down. And then I just dropped it. I mean, it's a pretty big rut, to be honest. Look, when you're standing down here, wow. So I think I will now just continue my way in the inner rut. You might hit a lot of trees if you take the left rut. I don't mind cuddling some trees. <laughs> okay. okay. Yep. Nothing's caught fire. Okay, good. One for me, zero for you. Haha, <laughs> yes. I am winning today. Yeah, these ruts are pretty, pretty crazy. I really don't know what to do here because it's so rutted. Oh my lordy lord. Have a look here. I mean, I don't know what to do, Olia. Did you go in the middle here? Oh my god. Oh. oh. Okay, yeah, I did it. We had such a nice little trail this morning. I'm so spoiled. And now when I see that, I'm like, oh, how can I manage that? What an adventure, hey? What an adventure in the morning. <sighs> Looks like Lavi got a stick wedged between your bash plate and the engine, hey? Yeah. Oh my goodness, let me yeah. see that. Wow, that's quite a big stick as well. Yeah. 
Jesus. It was like me, like, stucking in there, like, I kill you! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Beautiful view here, though. Terrible track, but beautiful view. <laughs> Nice riding here. That's better, isn't it? Look at that. Yeah. Nice. Look at this, we're going right through a sheep field. Good morning, guys. Oh, that's amazing. Good morning, guys. Wow, so many as well. I just saw you in my mirror. I'm down. I burned my trousers. What, on the exhaust? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, maybe I burned my leg as well a little bit. I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah, look here. I burned my leg here. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is my gear shifter still on? Yeah, it is. It's a little bit bent, but it's okay. It's like massively bent now, yeah. but okay. Look. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. That was, that was from, here. from here. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Crazy, hey? Oh, man. I think this is the problem as well. Like, I'm still not advanced enough to look around, you know, because I was looking. <laughs> the sheep look so funny because they're all relaxing underneath the tree, you know? And I was like, oh, that looks funny. And then down. Anyway. We'll get there in the end, hey? Twelve seconds later. I'm coming. Oh, no. Hold on a sec. You lose the balance in the rut, and then there's just a big hill yeah. on this side. Yeah. Okay, your bike's like nearly upside down, so let me go here. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Be careful that you don't burn yourself on the exhaust. Yeah. Three, two, go! Okay. Oh. That was really, really hard. Yeah. <sighs> Can't believe it. Three times down today. That was really hard to lift up. Yeah. Oh my goodness. You have actually snapped here. Oh no. The end of your brake lever. Oh no. Yeah. The hangar's not doing their job, hey? <laughs> I have broken this one, I have bent my gear shifter, I have burnt my motorbike trousers. I'm not sure if I'm made for a motorcycle trip. It's okay, we'll get it all fixed up. It'll be okay. Yeah. Yesterday wasn't my day, maybe today's not your day. I oh, would just walk it a little bit. <sighs> I hate ruts. Oh, got a tree in the way where a branch has broken off. I think we can take this little detour. It's a bit dodgy going underneath a broken tree branch, but anyway. Oh yes, this is my kind of byway. Look at this. A nice gravel road, a beautiful view. This is more like it. down again and guess what on the ruts okay Three, two, one. One. Up, up. <sighs> yep okay this lever is already broken so nothing to worry about there foot pedal still on four zero <laughs> everything was sort of fine and then it's really high there so I 
don't know what I did. But then I saw all the stingers as well. I was like, okay, let's go into the stingers. Yay! I don't know what I did. No idea. Five minutes later. <sighs> Guys, again. Again, I fell again. I don't know why. That bit was pretty tough, to be honest. There was a lot of uh, just rut, 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 rut. Up and down. Ready? Three, two, two one. one. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I think just ride in this rut that your front wheel's in. And then your back wheel will go in. And then you can ride out of it there. Let's just hope that it doesn't go on for too much longer, hey? <laughs> I'm just waiting to get to Salisbury Plains. <laughs> The wrong, the wrong rut here. Have to stick with it. Okay. I don't, don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Didn't you say keep to the left? And here where we keep to the right. Oh! I hit something there, I don't know what that was. I hit a rock there, I think. Oh my lordy lord. Okay, what? <laughs> It's 12 o'clock now and we pretty much didn't get anywhere. We have done like 16 miles, but it's so hard going. I can't believe how difficult this trail is with the ruts and I'm just dropping my bike constantly. <gasps> oh my God. Anyway, we will just have a little bit of a break here now because I'm running out of energy. <laughs> It's madness! You know, there's only one good thing about these ruts and that is that you can use them like a little bench. It's true actually. So we're having a nice lunch of bread and cheese and olives. Oh, bloody hell. And beetle in the ear. And this will give us the energy, the motivation to carry on in the ruts. That is bloody gourmet. Warning to the public. Danger from unexploded shell and mortar bombs. It may explode. So I think that means we have reached the Salisbury Plains military training area. So many people have raved about this area for motorcycle riding. They're always saying, oh, you've got to go to the Salisbury Plains area. You've got to go to the Salisbury Plains. But what is this area and why is it so cool for motorcycle riding? Well, the Salisbury Plain is a vast 300. Oh, look, there's cows. Cows. The Salisbury Plain is a vast 300 square mile chalk plateau which actually takes up 11% of the county of Wiltshire and of that 300 square miles 150 square miles are owned by the UK military and that part that's owned by the military is called the Salisbury Plains Military Training Area and this is the largest military training area in the UK but most importantly 
It's all dirt roads here. And look at the quality of these roads. They're almost too boring, hey? <laughs> the cool thing about this area is that they don't have any farmland here, only light cow and sheep farming. So the area is basically this big open plains area with bits of forest and dirt roads all throughout. It's basically a motorcycle paradise here for off-road riding. Because how many places are there in the UK with this much gravel road to ride on? And this epic views around you. Yeah, it's absolutely awesome. After all of the crazy, crazy byways that we faced this morning, I just want some nice gravel roads, a nice view, and hopefully we don't get shot by the military. It's all about balance, eh? A little bit struggling in the morning and then flying along in the evening. Apparently the UK military have actually been training in this area since 1898. So I think it's time to sit back, relax and enjoy some beautiful gravel road riding. Okay, it says, military firing range, keep out when red flags are flying or red lamps are lit. I don't know if that's now. Well, there is a pole, maybe with a flag on. Where? Over there. And over there. Oh. Yeah. I don't see red lamps, but I can see a red flag over there. So they're probably doing something there at the moment. You hear that? They are firing. Okay. I did read about this on the GPS files of the Tet. <laughs> yeah, something's yeah, going on there. Yeah, they're definitely firing there. So we're going to have to find a way around this bit, I think. So another really cool thing about this area that people told us about is that this byway that we're currently on right now apparently passes right next to Stonehenge. Yeah, can you believe that actually? Hello, how's it going? How are you? Good. The byway is actually closed at the moment. Oh. Yeah. So it's shut because it's summer solstice. No, is that like the one time in the whole year that this byway is closed? Oh. Yeah, generally. <laughs> just because of the summer solstice. Oh no. oh no, okay. So we started in Dover. Oh, wow. It's like a byways trail, yeah. green lanes and byways trail, and it runs all the way through the UK. We've been 46 miles. It doesn't sound like a lot. Yeah. She's fallen it's, over six times uh, yes, already today. Yes, yes, it was really a, a slow going. <laughs> okay, all right, we'll turn around then. All right, thank you. I could actually just about see Stonehenge up on the hill as we were coming down. Okay. Oh, we nearly got there. We nearly got there. So seeing as all the byways around Stonehenge are closed for the summer solstice, we've decided that the only way we can catch a glimpse of Stonehenge on this trip is to go on this road, the A303. We actually came on this road with Bumblebee during the round the world trip. I don't know if you guys can see up there, just over there at the top of the hill there seems to always be a traffic jam just on this one little bit passing by stonehenge like everyone's slowing down to have a look i don't know if you guys can see it from this far away but it is there on top of the hill yeah i can see it actually very very clearly wow that's cool did you remember it from the last trip? No, not that close. <laughs> you were probably worried that we were going to crash into all the cars. Yeah, I think so. So what do you know about Stonehenge then? I think you asked me this last time. So what do you know about Stonehenge then? Um, Stonehenge was built by giants. And do you remember anything? All I can remember is that nobody knows really how old it is but it was 100% sure that it was built by giants. And it's orientated towards the summer and winter solstices. You can get a pretty good view from here. Very, very cool. Very cool. There you go. There it is. I can feel its aura from here. Stonehenge is a very mystical place. 
Ah, uh, look, here was the byway that we were supposed to take. So there we go, guys. That's as close to Stonehenge as we're going to get today, it looks like. So now it's time to head back into the Salisbury Plains military training area because we've got some more sections to do. So as long as they're not doing more firing range training, then we should have quite a bit of more awesome riding to do. So we are back off the A303 Woo! and apparently we're on this crazy road now. Yeah, Woo! what is this? Woo! Oh it's my lord. Woo! Woo! Oh, I like Woo! it. <laughs> so how does this form like this, honestly? It was probably like, you know, what you have in Northampton, the fields. The road of suspension killing. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mean, this one here is really a biker's paradise, eh? Got a bit of enduro practice coming up. Look at this. I kind of just want to cheat and go on the side. No, you got to you got to take on these ruts. You got to take on the bumps. Take it on. Embrace yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I go to the side. <laughs> so the bike was feeling a little bit bouncy and we stopped to check the tires. And the PSI is at 8.5. Now the Suzuki Van Van is supposed to be at around 18 PSI. So I'm not sure if there is a puncture, but it doesn't look like all the air has gone out. So I think what I'll do, I'll just pump it back up to 18 and then maybe we ride a little bit and then we'll check and see if it's gone down after a couple of miles. Have a listen and see if I can hear anything. No, I think it looks fine. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, let's ride a couple of miles and then we'll check it again. I'm coming. I'm coming. Bike is down. Bike is down, hey. Yeah. Okay, come on, let's get it up. I'm going to turn around. Grab this, grab this. Three, two, one. Okay. I wanted to go up this lane. Yeah, I just wanted to go like from one to the other and then... You must have stopped rather than going. Yeah. Maybe you're getting hesitant because of all the falls. I think so. And you know, hesitation, just stopping is what makes you tip over. Yeah. I mean, I don't blame you. But anyway, we'll finish going through the plains. And then I think once we've got to the other side of the plains, I think we'll call it a day. I think so too. Okay, so let's just yeah. try to get through to the other side. I think we have maybe, I think five miles or so yeah. of tracks. Okay. Yeah, because I don't like what's ahead. I mean, look at it. Hey, we did so many mud puddles. Like, so many. You could either go all the way around it, or you can go straight through it. Okay, what are you doing? I don't know yet. I'm going to see when I get there. <laughs> That's 7-0, my love. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm just going to go through. Are you sure? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> You've got options like rutted tracks on the left, mud puddle ruts in the middle and then more grassy rutted tracks on the right. Oh God. I think I'm going to take that one. This one. I don't know if it's the best one, but we'll try it. Oh, it's rut. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. It's really, really muddy. Okay, uh, don't take this one. <laughs> Look, I'm literally standing on the rut. No way. Wait a minute. Oh, no. oh now he's getting it out. Second. Okay, do not take that one. I've tried that one, and I can tell you that one is not the one to take. 
don't even bother taking any of the middle ones because they are just they are really really deep but for me it's even hard to turn you know it's even hard to turn <laughs> stand up or use your feet i use my feet Yay! <laughs> That wasn't too bad. Good job. Be careful. Nice. Okay, moment of truth. That didn't need a lot. That's fine. I mean, it literally, I pressed the button and it went on for like a few seconds. That means it's, it's there, it's already there. I'm happy with that for now. It looks like Charlie will live to ride another day. Oh, look at these military guys. There's some sort of training going on here. Look at this. That truck looks absolutely crazy. I bet that can go like off-road, really off-road. Oh, and he has got a gun as well. All right, that's our cue to leave then. <laughs> Whoa, look at this, guys. It looks like a sort of fake town like a sort of fake battleground look at that there's all rubble everywhere and there's all these buildings what is that wow look at that it's like a totally broke down vehicle that looks absolutely crazy i would love to play a game of paintball here <laughs> i'm not going to go down this road kind of Feels a little bit dodgy there. It's called the Cope Hill Down Urban Training Facility. Oh yeah, no public access. We decided that we've probably had enough for today, hey? I think Seven Falls is enough for you. So we had a little look around the area and there's actually a campsite literally 500 meters this way. So we bought a few supplies from the Londis here to have a nice dinner tonight. And we're gonna head over to the camp right now. So the place is literally just coming up here on the right. Braids Acres Reception. Good evening guys, we made it! Happy and alive! <laughs> but as well, super exhausted. Luckily they have a really nice shower here, so I just had a shower to refresh and now I'm here in bikini in England, enjoying the sun. Yes, my shorts have finally come out for the first time on this trip. But look, our legs are so wide. <laughs> Let's hope this is a sign that there's more sunny days to come. But it was a really, really crazy, exhausting day today. You know, I was like, I can't write anymore at all because you're questioning your movements and everything. And then I was scared and I stopped and I dropped the bike so many times. It was really, really hard, really hard. I think it was a good decision to just rest, enjoy the sunshine and take on those trails tomorrow. Yes, hopefully I will continue training in my head overnight and get better you know <laughs> anyway so for tonight we will just relax here enjoy a pack of noodles and then have a sort of early night i think and that's it from us today we hope you enjoyed the video if so please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel share the video with your friends and family comment below and we will see you next time